In this worked example, I'm going to show you how you calculate how many objects you will find in a survey. In this case, let's imagine we've done a quasar survey and found a thousand quasars. We're going to do a new survey that will find quasars up to five times fainter than the original survey. How many quasars do we expect to see? OK, so what we do know is that the number you expect to see is proportional to the limiting flux to the minus 3 halves power. How do we use that? Well, it looks a bit tricky. We know that the limiting flux is going to decrease by a factor of 5, so that means the new limiting flux divided by the old limiting flux is going to be equal to 1 over 5. But how does that help us with this equation? We don't know what either of the limiting fluxes actually are. All we know is the new one is five times less. Well, what you can do whenever you get something proportional to something else, remember what it's actually telling you is that n is equal to some unknown constant times flux to the minus 3 over 2. What we can do is write down the equation for the new number and the old number and divide them by each other. That way we don't need to know either of the fluxes. All we need to know is the ratio of the two. So what we get is an n found in the new survey divided by n found in the old survey is equal to these two things. The k's cancel out, so that gives us the flux limit in the new survey over the flux limit in the old survey to the power of minus 3 halves. We can rewrite that as the flux in the old survey divided by the flux in the new survey, i.e. upside down, to the plus 3 halves. Because something to the minus an index is just something to the plus index reciprocal, one over it. So what that tells us is the number we expect to find in the new survey is equal to the number in the old survey times the ratio of fluxes to the 3 halves power, which is 5 to the power of 3 halves. 3 halves is just 5 times the square root of 5. So that's equal to 1,000. The number of things found in the old survey times 11.18, which is 11,180 quasars expected in the new survey.